Buenos dias, girls. So I'm all dressed up and ready to go to a place of interest, a place of interest that you are going to choose for me. So with my shades on to take in the sun, my hat, my mask, my earrings, I'm all dolls up and I'm ready to go. Girls, so our art today, oh, so when I'm out and I'm pretending I'm going out, I would always wear my face mask. I am not touching the front at all, right? When I'm taking it off, I use the ends of this to take it out. Right, so to put the mood in order, I'm dressed as if I am going to a place of interest in Trinidad that you want me to go to, all right? So our art today, I am not going to do all the work for you. You are going to do it. You are going to be the designer. But I want you to salient things, most important things I need to see. So we are looking at the outside of a brochure. What is a brochure? Well, a brochure is just a piece of paper to giving you information about a place. The brochure you are doing for me is a place of interest in Trinidad or Tobago. So you're going to choose one, a place of interest in Trinidad or in Tobago, right? Because we are a twin island state and you can either choose to do it in Trinidad or Tobago. Now, we are doing a trifold brochure. Trifold means it is folded into three. So you take your sketch pad page, fold it, right? You can hold it la um, landscape and you're going to fold it like this in your direction. I'm seeing it's making the letter Z from my direction is making the letter S, but you're folding it where each one is equal. So we're gonna get thirds, each side is equal. So you're gonna get thirds. So this is what your brochure is going to look like, okay? Before we get into the details of the brochure, I want to go with you. Let us look at a link, which I want you to look at. So you, while we're going through it, you will choose which one you're going to go. So I need parents with you because I believe that you still need parental guidance going through the net, okay? So let's start to search the web, screen share. Right. So we are looking at the top 11 top rated tourist attractions in Trinidad and Tobago, all right? The first place of interest is Maracas Bay. Yes, it is a place of interest. And if I did not know about there, I would love to go there. All right. So notice that is one place of interest and they're giving us information of how to get there, what you can do there, what you can get there and places to stay. All this information will go on your brochure. Don't panic yet, hold on. The next bit of information, the next place of interest is Englishman's Bay in Tobago. All right. Again, it's telling you where it's located, what it is you can see, and the things that you can get in the area. A third place of interest is Acerite Nature Center and Lodge in Trinidad. Well, unfortunately, because of COVID, it has been closed, but the sake of pretending, we are going to go ahead with it. All right, you can use Acerite Nature Center and it's giving you all the information of where it is located, the activities you can do, what you can see and do there. And this link is their official website for more information, more pictures, all right? Then you have Pigeon Point Tobago which would be very much like our Maracas Bay, right? It has its own features, its unique features. And it's telling you where, to, where you can first go to, to, to go to Pigeon Point, right? It is also telling you about the Boko Reef. And when you click on these links, you get more pictures, more information to put in your brochure. Then we have Port of Spain. Yes, Port of Spain is a place of interest, all right? So we have the Queen's Park Savannah, the Red House in Parliament, the Royal Botanic Gardens, the National Museum and Art Gallery, right? There's a tour here that will show you more. This is also a place of interest. 
Then you have the Karani Bird Sanctuary in Trinidad. It's again telling you where it's located, how you can get there. There's a link that you could go to. Little Tobago Island, same information. Mount St. Benedict Monastery, Monastery in Trinidad, right? A link you can go. The Point of Pear Wildfowl Trust, right? Telling you more. Number 10, the Main Ridge Forest Reserve in Tobago, right? And Fort King George, the Tobago Museum, all right? So all these, thi these things, so here you had 11 places of interest in Trinidad and Tobago. There are more, there are more, but I don't want you wandering the net without your parents. That is very, very important. I don't want you doing that, okay? So for simplicity, we will use just these 11 places of interest which you can look at. Right, so now begins the work. What I want to see, I don't want you to write all that information, no. What you're doing is just a draft of what it is it would look like. But of course I must see my art, right? So when we are writing anything, anytime we are writing, you have lines. So it's just like how your copybook page has lines. You must write in lines. So here we have lines here, right? I use my lines. And the lines at the top of the brochure, the first part of the brochure, will tell me the name of the place. Okay? So we had 11 places to choose from. You choose one. All right? So I did a quick draft of one. Notice it's in, pe it's in pen. First, I did it in pencil, and then I traced it because you want it to pop. So here we have what I looked at was a point of pair wildfowl trust. Okay? Next, normally some places would have a slogan, right? So when you research these things, you will have a slogan associated with the place. So like Maracas Bay, the best place for bacon sharking, all right? Or Pigeon Point, the only way to get to Boko. That is a slogan, okay? So a slogan is something that tells you a little about the place. Because what a brochure does, so if I'm a tourist and I've never visited these places, my eyes need to catch on to something. I need to see something that makes me want to look and makes me want to go to that place. So some of those 11 places that I showed you, there are slogans that tells you about the place, give you a little catch of it, all right? So for instance, the Wildfowl Trust, their slogan, notice I use my lines again, right? And their slogan said, to know is to love, to love is to presume. So the Wildfowl Trust, they show you how to take care of all our birds, right? They call them fowls, birds in Trinidad and Tobago and how we nurture them because some of them will soon become endangered. All right, so their logo is to know is to love, to love is to preserve. And notice the lines are there and my letters are not going all over the place. Now, the guidelines are your guidelines. So when I see your work, do I want to see your guidelines? No way. You will erase your guidelines. So you could use a pen a colored pencil or a marker and outline it dark for me okay so the front part of your brochure would have the name of the place and the slogan next as i see it i want to get the phone number so next we have the phone number and the email all right so we have the name of the place the slogan and the phone number now, when you write on this, some of you are artistic in your lettering. Go right ahead. Just remember, I am looking for it to be straight. That's what I'm looking for. Okay? I don't want to see it falling up and down the page. So you have the name of the place, the slogan, phone number, and now we have email. Okay? Right. So the front cover is, will have this. All right? So I'm looking first for the information that you will write. Next, in the inside, 
you will have, oh, my paper fell out. The address will go here. The address, right? And then here, you will have the word, the activities that you will do here. Now for activities, you will write down, if it is sightseeing, you write. So I put three bullets here right which is three dots you put the dots and you can say um things to do if it was wildfowl trust have a um tour guides walk around the pond um have lunch in our restaurant okay these are the activities so when you go to these places you will see the activities all right then I want you to design a strip on the cover. Now, brochures are very, very pretty and eye-catching. All right? So let's say if I wanted to do, I just did a quick, now, the, now we are, the, remember, this is a draft, okay? So I did a quick draft of what it was I wanted for Englishman Bay. And I would have stuck, I am going to stick, color it here. So we have the name and the coloring, right? If I wanted to do Mount St. Benedict, all right? I could have done that here. Um, if I wanted to do Pigeon Point, or if I wanted to do Scarlet Ibis, I will put it here, the bird sanctuary. All right? So you want to make your brochure eye-catching. So eye-catching means you must have an image coming across. All right? You can use your crayons. You could use your colored pencils. I'm aware some people may not have crayons or colored pencils. Do a drawing straight across. Because the brochure, it lends itself to attraction. It wouldn't be boring and white looking, OK? Some of you, so this is where our techniques of art comes in, where remember we learned how to do painting. We learned how to do sprinkling, right? You can do just a little bit of those things just around here, but I must be able to see, let me go back again. I must be able to see the name of the place, the slogan, the phone number and the email. The address, my thing fell out from here, and the activities, okay? Now, the next thing about a uh, um, brochure, the brochure always have different pictures. So I did this on Wildfowl Trust, right? And we will go to Wildfowl Trust to see where I got my idea from. And here, I could have put in some little activities here right? The activities that you would do in Wildfowl Trust. So let's go back to screen sharing and see what I mean. Right, so this is where your art will come in. So I was looking at Wildfowl Trust, and if I wanted, I could have drawn the little ducks by the activities is what we're looking at, okay? Sightseeing. So this is taking a little time to load up. To know is to love, to love is to preserve. Right. So here we have little images of what happens at Wildfowl Trust. So I could have used this, these images, little drawings, little sketches, right by activities, or even I could have used it in the middle, the, the place. Right, I could look at how the screen is flipping with different images. All right, I can also go to these different parts here, and that will give me images of what to write. You are now, I am not emphasizing on words, I am emphasizing your layout. So, this goes is called a layout how you're laying it out, how you're laying out your information. I am looking also at your lettering using a ruler making your line straight, okay? So you see, when we go to the page, look at how much different things we do. And we can draw bits of it. If I wanted, I could draw the ducks flying across the page as well, okay? 
I could have, if I didn't have colored pencils or crayons, I could have just drawn it out. That's acceptable. I'm accepting that from you. Okay. So let's look and see. Let me choose another one. Mount St. Benedict. Right. So we have the link there. It's taking a little while to load up. Oh no, cannot be reached. Oh, right. So here we have a picture and they, look at what their um, slogan is. Listen carefully, my child, to the master's instruction and attend to them with the air of your heart. Rule of Benedict, prologue one. So that is their slogan, okay? Look at the information that they are giving you, what it is you can do there, all right? Now, you are not writing all of that information. You just put in a little headline, activities, etc. okay? And you can go through these pages here to get little images that you may want to add to it. Let me look and see for another one for you. Um, oh, Karini Bird Sanctuary. All right. So here it is again, they're showing us pictures. They didn't have a slogan, but you could create a slogan as well. All right, I want to see your slogan. Look at the images of what it is you are seeing in the Karani Bird Sanctuary. All these are images that you will see there. All right, and you can put this on your brochure, right? Okay, so let's stop sharing, right? So let me just go over it again. So a brochure is going to entice a tourist like me to go on a tour. But obviously we have to be home, so we go on a virtual tour. So let us pretend, but we pretend in properly, all right? Your brochure is just your page and you're folding it like a Z, right? You're, you're taking it landscape, folding it like a Z, so you could get it into a trifold. Trifold means three. Three equal parts. One, two, three. Okay? On your brochure, I must see the name of the place. So I showed you 11 places of interest. You will choose one. All right? Also, I want you doing this research with your parents so that I know I just want that safety. Right? A slogan. Some of these places have slogans. Some may not. You give it a ring, okay? Because some of you, I mean, some of you may have been to these places, and I'm sure you chose it because of the fun memories you had. Also, there must be an email and a phone number. Now, see how much space there is here. You could also the pictures of the place. Draw a little thing here. Don't leave it white, okay? Use your crayons, use your markers, color it, give it interest, okay? Because a brochure is not really white, it's eye-catching because you want to go there. Then we have the address. Give me the address. They normally give you the address. You can do an image. I want for you to produce an image because we want the brochure to be capturing. I want you to choose an image and put it straight across your brochure, all right? If you want to, the activities, you could write activities and color this area in a different color to be eye caption. Um, if it is the scarlet ibis, you could draw a big scarlet ibis and in it would be the words. If it was Mount St. Benedict, probably you could just draw the mountain or one of the buildings here, or you could, you, you could do something that, something that captures you that you want to see, all right? Also, I want you to list at least three activities. Just put in simple three sentences in a straight line, the activities that you can do. All right. So I look forward to seeing your work with my travel hat on and I'm all dolls up. But now we're in COVID times. I have to put on my mask. Let me get my shade because all my eyes need to be protected. These places I'm definitely going to visit once this lift is over. Protect my eyes, put on my face mask. Remember, we hold our face mask at the end, around our ears, and we're good to go. Remember social distancing. 
wash your hands, stay safe girls, have fun with what you're doing. Adios.